Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jules from TechLearner.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 10 on your Mac computer using Bootcamp. So, let's get started. This topic apparently is still hot and there are still many users who would like to install Windows 10 as a second or alternative operating system alongside your Mac. This may be because you want to play games, Maybe you want to do some work which is not compatible with Mac or because Windows 10 is being used in your school uh, environment and unfortunately some of your work is not compatible with a Mac. I had the same issue when I was back in school. And I remember that I have done some videos regarding this installing Windows 10 on your computer but and they were for the situation where Bootcamp didn't work at all and it wasn't supported on your operating system. It was the unofficial way of installing Windows 10 on your machine. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you do, can do it with Bootcamp and assuming that you have one of the latest machines or if your Mac computer supports the installation of Windows 10, which I have written the full list in my blog down in the description, so be sure to check this out. And on top of that, we are ready to go ahead and install Windows 10. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have to go back in time. Cool, there we go. All right, guys, so the first thing you have to do is to go ahead and download Windows 10 from the official website of Microsoft. Now from here, you're gonna to have to scroll down and choose the version you're gonna to have that you need to download. The only one which is available is Windows 10. And then select confirm. And then you're gonna change the, the language. And the final bit is to choose whether you like 64-bit or 32-bit. Now, if you're using the latest Mac machine, obviously you're gonna to have to download 64-bit, but if you're using uh, another Mac, maybe maybe back in the, maybe your model is from the 2005 or 2006 or 2007, then you should probably go for the 22-bit. But in 99.85% of the cases, you're going to choose 64-bit. And that be done, it's going to take a while to download depending on your internet connection. And after it's done, we're going to move to the next step. Okay, so right after the download, then go ahead and launch Bootcamp. So now is the time to go ahead and install Windows 10 on your machine. So as soon as Bootcamp is, is open, then go ahead and click on continue. Now this could take a bit of time in order for you to check whether your hard, your hard drives are okay, whether you have enough free space. And speaking for free space, make sure they have at least uh, 85 gigabytes of free space. Maybe even less will work, maybe slightly more. But in my case, I was able to launch Bootcamp with around like 90 gigabytes of free space. And I was able to do it with even 8 gigabytes of space. But and that, and, and, and the main reason is because Apple still wants to use a bit of your free space just for uh, backups or reserve space, virtual memory, or even like for machine uh, backup snapshots and stuff like that. And if you don't have enough space, then a message is going to pop up from uh, Bootcamp saying that you don't have enough, enough space. If you have any, any other errors, then definitely let me down in the comments. I will make sure to uh, make video of those. And also one thing very important before moving forward, please make sure at this point to back up all of your data because all, everything is possible and if something happens while doing a procedure like that, you may have to uh, reset your MacBook Pro. I'm not saying this will happen, the risk is very, very, very low, but I still will definitely recommend you to back up your data uh, for this uh, for safety purposes. So grab your external hard drive and use Time Machine. I have a very down description of how to use it, which will back up all of your data. Okay, so after that being said, let's go through it. So now where it says iOS image, go ahead and choose the the windows the windows iso you just downloaded so go to downloads and then it should appear and then make sure to to order by day mod modified and then it should appear on the top so may also go ahead and click on open and then you may resize of how much space you want to give windows and how much space you're gonna leave for uh for mac os and now you have the option to go ahead and resize the windows partition uh and and leave all the remaining space for your mac os now please keep in mind that it's really, really, really hard, uh, almost impossible to to, re to to resize your Windows partition after you make the partition. And so please be sure, so please be careful of how much space you give to Windows. So make sure to, to be satisfied in the future and think of roughly why you should use Windows, uh, Windows 10 and what purpose you're gonna be using it. And after you're satisfied with your sizing, you can go ahead and click install. Okay, right now Bootcamp is going to take some time to download the latest Windows support software which includes all the drivers within one package which we're going to be using to install all the drivers in one go with one click when we install Windows 10. On top of that, it's going to create a partition, it's going to uh, make it bootable so you can go ahead and install Windows 10 as soon as your machine is going to be restarted automatically by Bootcamp. 
All right, guys, so bootcamp is right now done. So just need to go ahead and put my thumb ID in order to put my password. You may need to put your password manually. And, and everything is done. Everything is done automatically. So, so Windows 10 partition is, is already made. And now the only thing we have to do is to just wait until the MacBook uh, reboots and it's going to automatically reboot to Windows 10. And now we're going to have to go ahead and go through the setup. Okay, guys, so right now we're doing the installation of Windows 10. So there are a few stuff we need to Windows set up, including setting up the language, setting up the keyboard. And right now is the perfect time to enter your product key if you already purchase Windows 10. Now, if you haven't, you can still proceed with the installation, but you're going to meet some premium features such as personalization of Windows 10. And if you're unsure if you, whether you're going to purchase Windows 10 yet, then you can decide later on and then uh, go to settings and input the product key. In my case, I'm going to skip this for now by selecting I don't have a product key. Now, if you already purchase Windows 10, then go ahead and have a look of what Windows type you, you purchased. If you purchase Windows 10 Home, then select Windows 10 Home. But otherwise, if you purchase a different version and then you put your product key, the product key may not work. And also, if you are thinking of purchasing Windows in the future, then choose the version which you are most likely to purchase in the future. In my case, we're going to select Windows 10 Home. And next is going to be the waiting game. So just wait until Windows 10 uh, installs everything from the ISO file to your Windows 10 partition. And after that, your Mac is going to automatically be restart again to Windows 10. So you can go ahead and finish off with the setup. Okay, great job so far. If you haven't encountered any issues, now you're in a very, very good way. The only thing left of you is to go ahead and finish off the basic setup. So there's nothing really, uh, nothing really much to go through here. Just uh, confirm your region, confirm your keyboard, uh, set up your Microsoft account, set up your, your voice assistant. And also if you want to set up your OneDrive so you can do, so you can back up your stuff. And also if you want to install Microsoft Office 360. And next you have some other settings, including like gathering data from you in order for Windows 10 to improve the products. Now this is really your choice if you, if you, if you let them do so. But if you do let them do so, then you just share some of your data uh, to them so they will know how to improve them. But if you don't want to do that, then you're fine to, uh, you're fine to decline. Next up, the last part of the installation process is to wait until Windows 10 uh, downloads everything for you, set up Windows 10 for you, download any final updates that uh, need to be done. And after that, you're pretty much done. And there's only one last and final step that you have to do is to install all the drivers that, that Bootcamp has downloaded for you with all in one go. So you don't have to install them separately. You, you just select uh, begin now and, uh, and all your drivers will be installed to your machine auto automatically. Now, in case you're wondering of where this setup comes from, that was the, the Windows support software which Bootcamp downloaded during the partitioning of Windows 10. Now, during this period, don't do anything to your Mac, just let it do its job. It's going to install all the final drivers and your screen is going to go blank for a while and you're going to hear some some uh, some sounds. So it's not going to be really that usable during this period. And after this process is done, then your Mac is going to aut automatically reboot to Windows. At this point, you may need to insert your password and uh, your PIN if you have set up one. And after that, you're pretty much done. Like uh, there's nothing else you need to install. Your drivers are set up, your Windows 10 ecosystem is completely set up and that's only assuming if bootcamp uh, does everything well like issues can happen like a bootcamp can actually go wrong is not it's not very reliable in my opinion and can go and can definitely go wrong in many scenarios for example the, if there's uh, some corruption in your hard drive or maybe the requirements of your system is not supported by bootcamp this can also be an issue so if you experience any issues any issues whatsoever with bootcamp definitely go ahead and let me know down in the comment section and i will do my best to to help you out or maybe make videos on how to resolve these issues now there are a couple of issues which i found by myself and that is from the and that's if you have a macbook pro 15 inch from the 2016 all the way up to to maybe 2019 now the and the issue is that if you turn the volume all the way up then it could potentially damage or blow up your speakers if while using windows 10. Now, if you happen to have one of those models, then I'll highly recommend you to not turn the volume all the way up, maybe to around 75% level maximum, or maybe around 50% for safety purposes. And the thing is that I'm not really sure if this still a thing with the 2019 models. Maybe with the 2018, but uh, 2019, there are some improvements done by Apple, so I'm not really sure if there's still a risk, but I'm still against of turning the volume all the way up, regardless of your model. 
And on top of that, another thing is that Windows 10 does not fully support the touch bar. Now, again, with the users with a MacBook Pro with a touch bar, doesn't support fully touch bar. So sometimes you may need the, the, the escape key and the escape key may not appear on the touch bar. And there are a few applications from Windows which support the touch bar. Now, if you want to have a feasible escape key, which I highly encourage you, unless you have the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro model released a couple of weeks ago by the time of recording this video, then you're going to have to go ahead and change the functionality of one key from a keyboard which you rarely use. And that could be one of your commands keys, one of the option keys. But in my case, I will go ahead and, and change the key which is on the left side of one and above the tab because you're rarely going to use this key. And changing that into a escape key is probably the most efficient solution for this problem. And hopefully Windows 10 will give more support to the touch bar in the future. Now, in some cases, if you want to reboot your Mac computer, you may automatically reboot to Windows straight. And if it happens to you, don't panic. Mac OS is still there. What you need to do is to, when you reboot, is to hold down the Option key or Alt key, uh, and you're going to enter the boot menu, and then you select Mac OS or Macintosh HD or whatever your hard drive is called. And by this, you will reboot back to Mac OS. And if you want to change your startup disk, I have another video down in the description which you can go ahead and check it out. And that being said, that's everything i have to say about this video and i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did uh, making it plus some very exciting news we have launched our official website for our youtube channel techlunar.com where we have a blog for, for posting reviews tutorials stuff like that maybe illustrating our youtube videos and stuff like that and also we have a forum where you can join and post any kind of questions that you have technically related or any other questions you may, you may have uh, maybe it will be about me or about our youtube channel or about any any other thing that you can uh that you can possibly imagine uh, but the main purpose is to help you out guys with your technical issues or any technical issue you, you guys may have go ahead and post them there you can also post any uh, any uh, visual effects like pictures and uh and show any any youtube videos and th that'll be the best way for me to be able to help you out guys because i will be able to see uh to see photos there will be some evidence and that'll make uh, that'll make uh, things a lot easier for me to help rather than the comment section the link of the website in the description down below and also on the screen right here and on top of that don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already so and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so in order to receive notification for every we upload don't forget to hit the like button and on top of that don't forget to uh, share this video to your friends if you would like to share and, and expand this knowledge even further thanks for watching and as always i'm gonna see you in my next video